Ah, chili? Really, that's what we do in chili? Okay. So, uh, so on the best chili, and I, I, I can attest that the, this was, I think I actually voted for this as the best chili, but I will tell you this was, there was about three or four that were pretty damn good. And, uh, but the best chili and the winner of a $50 gift card, right? Was, uh, YouTube, it's your boy. Back again with another video, man. As you can see from the title of this video, this is about chili. Uh, now, just to give you guys a background about myself, just a little bit, I'm from Cincinnati. I'm from Cincinnati. I was born in Cincinnati, Ohio. <sighs> we have a specific and very unique style of chili in Cincinnati. It was actually introduced back in the 20s by uh, Slavic Macedonians. There goes your history lesson for the video. Uh, but the, the, the chili is actually more soupy. It's a very thin consistency. It uses elements like nutmeg and uh, even dark chocolate and uh, things like that, cumin and stuff, are in that chili. So that is not your very uh, stereotypical chili, if you will. So my unit at my work, my job, decided to host a chili cook-off. Me being from Cincinnati, I immediately thought, mm, Cincinnati chili, I'm about to kill him. But then I said to myself, this may not appeal to the masses for what they consider to be a typical chili. So, you know, in true DB4K fashion, I had to go off the cuff, off the top of the dome. So uh, without further ado, this is DB4K Victory Chili. Keep it locked.
All right, so I've got pretty much all my ingredients in. It's a little spicy right now, but I'm gonna let it cook. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more of the uh, beef stock just to the top. Give it a light stir. Don't wanna stir this too much at this point. I just want it to sit just like that. And then put my heavy lid on at a medium heat. I'm gonna check it in about 30 minutes, crank it down to a low heat, let it ride for about an hour and a half. Two hours later. Ah, oh, YouTube, man, it's like five in the morning and uh, I'm getting ready to transfer the old chili into the uh, slow cooker I got. Morphe Richards. Anyway, man, I'm gonna get this chili into the slow cooker and I gotta get to work. Got an aircraft about to take off, so it's probably gonna get super loud. But as you can see, it's packed, man. All the people ain't showed up yet. But uh, soon enough, man. Look at that boy, Chris. <laughs> yeah, man, it's about to go down. Uh, hopefully my battery don't die, though. So, I'm trying to get my cable charged up. And I'm gonna film a little bit more of the people doing the tasting and whatnot. Apparently, I think this is supposed to be a blind taste, but people kind of know who's making what. Either way, uh, hopefully, let's have some good results. Hey. So it appears your boy didn't make enough chili because I was not able to solicit to the masses. Huh? Huh? I don't think I made enough chili. Yeah. My chili was all gone before people got a chance to sample and vote. So I don't know, man. I think I'm going to get edged out. I don't think we're going to win. That's all right, though. We still made good chili.
We have a couple of uh, party gifts as well for uh, for the winners as well, so that'll be a good time here. So, uh, so where do y'all want to start? Hottest, worst, or best? Worst. The worst. No, the worst was, and I don't know this. Uh, this uh, says this is politically correct to be good, but I don't know if it's politically correct. <laughs> was Tastes Like Dirt, which I will attest to is pretty hot. So who wants to come up and uh, represent that? <laughs> Billy Morgan! Billy Morgan! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, before you get into that, is there any of it left? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you should eat a bowl of it. gentlemen I got my shades on cuz I'm feeling real spicy right now I'm feeling real saucy speaking of spice you know what back in 2006 I don't know if y'all can see that in my very first base they had an annual chili cook-off which I entered and won for best heat uh, getting best heat out of a chili is definitely not the most difficult thing but winning for uh, best overall is extremely validating to me you know what I'm saying it's no secret to anybody your boy loves to cook, so, um, you know what though? My unit's actually, uh, next week doing another cooking event for, uh, international dishes. So, I'm actually thinking about entering that, so, y'all tell me, comment below, if you, if you think I should enter that, and if so, what dish should I make? I have a few ideas, but I want you guys' feedback. What dish should I make? And I'm gonna use every bit of this $50 gift card, um, at one of y'all suggestions and I'll, I'll probably more than likely enter that competition as well um, but hey that's the video man I'm gonna take my chili champ ladle you know what I'm saying go eat me a little something it's dinner time here and uh, again thanks for watching man if you are new to my channel go ahead hit that subscribe button hit the like button click the notification bell and uh, leave a comment, man. I want to interact with y'all, man. I created this channel because I want to inspire people to get in the kitchen and do what I love to do, and that's cook. So if you found this recipe interesting and you like chili, man, go ahead and cook it yourself. Give me a comment, man. Let me know what you think about it. So uh, without further ado, even from the most humblest of kitchens, you can still keep it tasty. I'm out of here. <laughs>